Hey there, curious minds. Are you ready for a spine-tingling adventure? Today, we're diving into the mysterious realm of disappearances and the mind-boggling phenomenon of those who miraculously reappear. Get ready to uncover some truly extraordinary, bewildering, and downright chilling stories in this video. Let's get started. In 2020, Elvis Francois, a 47-year-old man, found himself in a challenging situation while repairing a sailboat near a port on the island of St. Martin. Unexpectedly, the weather turned and he was swept away by the sea. Unfortunately, Elvis had no knowledge of navigation, causing him to lose his way. Despite his efforts to steer the boat using the available equipment, he was unsuccessful. Stranded at sea, Elvis faced the daunting reality of having no food except for a bottle of ketchup and some garlic powder. Determined to survive, he mixed these ingredients with a little water and sustained himself for 24 days. To quench his thirst, Elvis collected rainwater using a piece of cloth. Finally, after enduring this challenging ordeal, he was rescued 222 kilometers northwest of Puerto Bolivar. Elvis recounted how he caught sight of a plane in the last few days, using a mirror to reflect sunlight and signal for help. The plane passed over him twice, confirming that they had seen him. Elvis expressed his gratitude towards the rescuers, acknowledging that it was their intervention that saved his life. Throughout those 24 days, he experienced a lack of color, conversation, and hope. However, thoughts of his family kept him going during the darkest moments. In June 2018, 12 young boys and their football coach embarked on an exciting adventure to the Tam Luang Cave in Thailand's Chiang Rai province. Little did they know that their journey would take an unexpected turn when heavy rains poured down, flooding the cave and trapping them inside for a grueling two weeks. It was a true test of their friendship, resilience, and the extraordinary lengths people are willing to go to save the life of another. These boys were part of a local youth football team known as the Wild Boars. They were no strangers to the depths of Tam Luang, often venturing as far as eight kilometers into the cave for special rituals where they would inscribe the names of new team members on the cave walls. However, on that fateful day, armed only with their torches, they entered the cave and didn't emerge until a nerve-wracking two weeks later. The rescue operation that followed was nothing short of a global endeavor, with thousands of volunteers and soldiers from all corners of the world coming together. After a painstaking 17 days underground, the boys were finally located and rescued. Their story is a testament to the power of unity and the unwavering determination to save the life of someone else's child. Living on a small boat for even a day can be daunting for someone who has always lived on land. However, for Mr. Salvador Alaranga, fate changed his life completely while he was fishing. He was caught in a storm while cruising the waters near the coast of Mexico and drifted miles off the main course. Unable to return, he decided to feed on fish and sea turtles to finally reach land one day. After spending weeks and months, he faced mental and nervous disorders, and eating only one type of food caused changes in his body and skin. But he did not lose hope until he was saved after 438 days. That too, in a situation where he was more than 8,000 miles away from his home. After 11 months, various doctors managed to cure Salvador's mental disorders so that he could tell the story of his life in these few months. And today, he is considered one of the most adventurous sailors in the world. His life book is written by a well-known author named Jonathan Franklin. Salvador's story is a testament to the human spirit and the will to survive in the face of adversity. It shows that even in the most challenging situations, hope and determination can help us overcome the toughest of obstacles. Tragedy struck when a Cessna 206 light aircraft experienced a technical fault in its engine shortly after takeoff from Araraquar, a forest area located 350 kilometers from San Jose, California. The plane crashed in the Amazon forest in the province of Kakuta, with passengers on board including a native person, a mother, and her four children aged 1, 4, 9, and 13. The news of the crash prompted a search operation involving over 100 Colombian soldiers, but the wreckage was difficult to locate due to the area being inhabited by wild animals, poisonous plants, and armed drug trafficking groups. Despite the challenging conditions, the search operation continued with the addition of 60 soldiers and 70 natives who had detailed knowledge of the forest. The bodies of the pilot, a local indigenous person, and the children's mother were found, but there was no trace of the children. 
Many believed that the children's fate was sealed, but the Colombian rescue and recovery forces persevered and eventually found the missing children alive, about five kilometers from the crash site. This was a remarkable achievement given the harsh conditions of the area, and it brought hope and joy to the families of the survivors. An eight-year-old boy named Nante Niemi was separated from his family while camping in Wild Mountain State Park in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. He went missing while collecting firewood and a massive search began when he did not return to the campsite. More than 150 search and rescue personnel and local police partners covered an area of approximately 40 square miles on foot, air, and water. The search was started in challenging weather conditions. After two days, the child was found under a tree stump about two miles from the campsite. Despite surviving two freezing nights in the forest with temperatures below 40 degrees, the child covered his body with tree branches to keep himself warm and ate snow to keep his body hydrated. He was found at approximately 1.30 p.m. Central Time today by some local search and rescue personnel uh, sheltering under a log and he had been circling that particular area yesterday and for part of last night.